Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lonzyville, the beautiful farthest frontier 9.2, 0.92 update. Hope you're all well guys, look at this. So we're into year four and we're kicking things off with a bang. We are okay on everything, happiness not the best, but because our food supply has just dipped a little bit lower, that should pick up. Now at the end of the last episode, if you haven't seen that, that is part of the playlist we did get our first little tower up and we've got it slightly raised as you can see here so it should provide a good amount because the odds are they're going to attack from anywhere around here so we should be covered now i've got the farm in here as you if you remember from the last one we're just building the fence around right now and we'll get the max size farm we're hoping to have enough people so it's all about that growth at the moment. Tier 2 Town Hall should be the case once we get the stone. We have plenty of planks in for that, so we just need to prioritise getting some stone in. Now what I'm going to do for that is just remove all this and see if there's anything a little bit closer that we can kind of dig out. And we'll grab all of those, because they need to be dug out anyway. That one's a bit too far away at the moment, so let's go with just that. And we got a gold of five surplus at the moment as well, even with our tower in, as you can see. Compost yard actually costs four gold, though I don't recall that costing. Huh. Didn't even realise that actually costs to have a composter. Anyway, we'll leave that as auto fertility as well. It should be pretty good. But welcome yourselves back on in, guys. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing. Appreciate you being here. Oh, it's good. It's really good. I can't wait to get into some of the uh, upgraded features and the, the fighting. So as soon as that tier 2 hits, really, we'll, we'll be uh, facing that. So another villager born. Um, we're at the point where people will die from being elderly at some point. But we have nine actual babies. Ten children altogether. Adolescents, I guess, are children as well. I'm seeing that we probably got loads of trees set to harvest, but no one to do it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do something now. We're not spending these on anything, so I'm going to reduce that to two. And I'm also going to go ahead and toggle the production on the firewood splitter here. We have a predator attacking. It's a boar, though, so we should be fine here. That's our hunter dealing with that. So the boar give really, really good amounts. So that's why I kind of set it over here. That should be pretty good. And yeah, hopefully we'll get some stone and some wood chopping on the go. Let's speed it up and fly through this year a little bit here, so we're pretty good. Food is all smoked fish and meat. We're not really doing very well on the gathering, but that's okay. I may end up getting a second storage at some point as well. We've got enough medicine to keep us the basics kind of going there as well. And I'm not going to actually utilize too much wood. So we've kind of chopped it down. What I am going to do is with these small stones here, I'm going to prioritize both of those. So they'll choose to mine those before anything else here as well. And the reason I've paused the firewood splitter at the moment is it's actually okay because we have 167 in stock. They typically won't go through many um, until the winter here. So we should be absolutely fine. Um, I could even put a pause temporarily on this. That's why they're cutting down all those trees. Huh. I might just lower that down. We've only got four builders anyway, so the rest should do it. They should go on, stay on the stone. But if it's anything like pr previous time I played, if you kept a surplus of around 10 months of food, it made, as well as happiness, the, uh, the immigration effect was huge. I'm just going to have a look. We've got the, the pelts here, and I think I want to get in. I know that we're not quite ready for it, but we do need a cobbler shop. Now, again, cobbler shop doesn't have any bad desirability traits. So I am feeling uh, just on this corner here for now. As you can see right there, look, we have zero laborers. And that is down to this being worked on. So I'm actually going to stop the construction on that. So I'm going to do auto refill on this. And I'm actually just going to knock this down to 13. So those laborers go out and do stuff. It's because we're on auto. So that's this little tick box up here. That's always been a thing. But if I click that, that should keep... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so you've got to make sure you actually keep that down right there. So until that farm's actually done... We're not going to be able to do anything. That does mean I can put construction enabled at least. And then we'll leave the farmers kind of doing their thing. Hopefully they'll go out and grab everything now. Seeing a good amount of uh, arrows in stock again now as well, which is nice. I could potentially reduce that one down to one person. There's no real reason to have two. U using too much wood as well. Firewood's obviously going down a little bit as well. So we may need to turn that back on. Just a tiny balancing act whilst we pick up this stone here. 
can hear them mining though, which is good. There we go. All right, let's get a couple of houses in as well. I'm leaving all this space around the marketplace kind of free at the moment. We could get maybe one house here. I'm trying to do it so I can have a nice decorated area around the marketplace. But I might go ahead and do this. Just those two. And then we'll leave that space for maybe a school, a bakery. We've got a little slot there as well if we need it. And there's 34. We're almost there. There we go. Boom. Town hall upgrade is a go, baby. Here comes tier two. This is where the game just completely opens up as well. So tier two is massively, massively important. It's where it kind of gets exciting. And there we go. Getting some in now. So what I can do is uh, start to just add. Well, it's not even built yet, is it? Although I don't know whether they rely on it. It's not builders that do it. Pretty sure it is the farmers. So what I'll do is keep the labor numbers at eight. Let's go six farmers there. They'll go ahead and dig that out slowly as well. So that kind of gives us a little bit of leeway to work with as well. And I go ahead and turn on the firewood splitter again now. So we'll get one person back on that as we're coming into autumn. And it has dipped a little bit lower. There we go. They're hammering away at the town hall now. I love the tier two one. It's got a really nice look to it. All the tier two buildings do actually the housing as well. And this is where we open up all the decoration and happiness needs for bigger housing as well. Boom. There it is. Look at that. Absolute beauty. And that has fully opened up everything now. Like the marketplace, the healer's house, all that stuff. We can't get a temple and stuff in yet because we can't actually afford all of this stuff. So one of the first things we'll do, we don't have the gold for that just yet, but we'll get the trading post in. Now that does require some planks. That's okay. Now, I need to flatten so it's not fitting where I wanted it. This hatch there. Let's get that done. And there we go. That's just coming in now. So I should be able to do it. Build a new school to set the town apart from the other villages. Attract more educated settlers. Yes, it will. Come on. Okay. Perfect. I don't know whether to rotate it though. Yeah, I think it's good to leave that little gap there in case we want to wall it in. So, I think... Do it there. And then what we'll probably do, actually, is move... I want to move this back one. I'm actually going to change these roads here and bring a little bit of a, a section away from it. So we can actually wall around the back of these if we need to. So, I think... Bringing these all back one, that's okay. You can go in one as well, that should be fine. And then we're good. But yeah, going into the fourth year winter here. Good amount of food. to Oh no, seven months of food. Oh, I've just moved it, haven't I? I don't know whether you get that back or whether I lose it all. Interesting to see. Prioritise that one. Didn't quite realise you lost all your food there. I think we're okay though. We've got... Um, we should see the months go up anyway. I don't know whether they transfer it or whether we did lose that. I think we did lose it, but... Oh no, no, we gained them back once it's moved back. That's perfect. It's all still there. Lovely stuff. I thought I lost it all then. And just checking out the ring here. I think a... I don't know how I'm going to do this. But I do think I want to get a few more houses still. So we don't have to worry about it. And I think I'm just going to pop them over here. So we'll get two more there. All right, let's figure out what we're going to do with this. So I think I need to flatten this out. And I'm going to do it in a way that kind of brings that down, I think. I want to be able to just bring the road in. If I do that, it's going to take a little bit of labour. I want to get a road going around this, and then I'm going to try and figure out how I want to design this area. So really, that should have been more central. Now, you can relocate town centre. So 250 gold ingots, and you can relocate. So I might move this at some point. Although I do like the vantage. We could move it higher and then build away from it. It depends. It really, really does depend, because rebuilding a town centre... Should be fine though. It should be fine. We're not on Vanquisher like last time. If you haven't seen my Vanquisher playthrough, that is on the channel as well. <laughs> Got really, really hectic. I won't lie to you. And here we go into year number five and going into it strong with nine months of food. So it could really do with some good amounts of stuff here. I think we... That, just that one little buff of people we need here and we should be able to finish the farm. I'm going to sacrifice a smaller amount of laborers here. That are actually grabbing those but actually when it comes to resources now with tier two we unlock quite a bit so potter building weaver building armory charcoal kiln 
soap shop and the candle shop. Now they're all good for buying and selling, but what I'm after is a work camp. So stockyard and a wagon shop. We just need to get ourselves a wagon shop for traveling around. A granary and a vault as well we've unlocked. So wagon shop is going to be our next thing. Now position of these is better where you transport wagons are manufactured. Wagons can be used by villagers to efficiently transport goods from mines, pits and work camps to the town storage. So it doesn't really matter where these are. These can be out of the way, um, almost by the storage over here, I'd say. Pop it. I want my granaries and stuff, I think, there by that. I think I'm just going to get it in there. And then what we'll do is work the road up a little bit. This one's struggling. That's flat and tall. That is not the road. Bring that up. And there we go. Two new immigration, one more born. Every little helps. So hopefully we'll get some of these adolescents into adults. There's eight of them, so in eight maybe two years will be good i'm not actually again there's our first trader too look at this trading stuff has been built i didn't even see so first traders on their way in we're going to need to transfer in some gold and some items so question is what do we want to try and sell going to be baskets potentially they could be a good one we don't really make too many though at the moment we're we're using them all up quicker than we can actually make them Clothing's good. I'm not seeing what we want to sell, really. I think it might be best just to transfer a bit of gold in at the moment. Transferring a bit of gold. We've got one person working that. Let's see what the trader has to see if there's anything we can kind of get here. So, stone's always a good one. Once you get the pits, you can grab that in. I don't think there's much we uh, we need here. In case of just having them ready, I don't think so anyway. Still got 11 tools. We do need to get into making those, but we're fine. First trader is here, but I don't think we want anything from them. There's a new setting now. This one here, request this item to be brought to the merchant at premium prices. So if you click this, we can basically say we want the merchant to bring us planks, right? But they will be at an, it'll be the next merchant that hasn't already started traveling based on what compute background. I don't know. Whatever comes to your settlement then will offer you that item and loads of it as well. It's pretty cool. Good, good feature. Costs loads of gold though, and that's not what I want to spend mine on. I can already see a second trader coming in here as well. So having that gold in is going to be good. It might be worth us transferring in like a little bit of this stuff. Try and make some early gold maybe. There's no harm in that, right? We'll get that in. Um, I don't think there's anything else we want to grab in though. When they're reduced prices though, these are the times to kind of buy this. But I think we're okay for that. See what the second trader has. I do quite enjoy playing around. You can manipulate one to uh, sell to the other as well when they have it. So... What we're going to do is see what both have. Oh, that one had cows. Uh, weren't quite ready for the cows. It's always a good one. Um, nothing we could do there. What I am going to do is sell this 45 straight over. There's 180 gold that we can make really, really early. That gives us, what, 200 and something? And then 64 in our storage here as well. That'll do. First year, made a couple of hundred gold. Not bad. All right, look at this, guys. I just want to show you now. So rather than just your singular barn, you've got the goat barn. Some more immigration there. We've got the chicken coop. I think I want to get chicken nice and early. Just because I, I don't know what it is. You know, just love a bit of chickens. We need a clay thing as well. We just don't have the population to do this. Let's focus our farm first then. Because we're going to want to get that sorted. Uh, let's have a quick look here. Predator killed instantly. I think the tower dealt with that one. Lovely stuff. And we can also then look at some of the other stuff to get desirability up. And I think the school, it was saying the school we could build that. There's no monthly cost to it, and it fits in perfectly over here. So, let's get it right there. And that's going to bring some of our desirabilities up to a really good amount. Get the increased housing. So, what desirability number does it need? Literally 30. So, we're in a good position to do the auto upgrades here. I will leave them on just to see, but we aren't quite in the plank surplus here. I won't lie to you. All right, let's see. So we got those extra laborers in. Let's take that up to eight on the farm now. Try and get that completed. We're slowly getting there. I'm loving this. I Seeing pelts this good so early is a nice sight. I'm tempted to also get a second forager here. Just down by the river to grab these willow bushes. I think we're still picking load from over here though, so it's not quite needed. We only have the one forager over here, but food's still pretty good. There's some herbs. There's a good fishing spot there. We should probably take... Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to keep it all in the same place, though, with the fishing. Makes it a little bit easier. All right, I'm just flipping to that one. There's actually a deer spot right there as well, so that's pretty good. I'm just seeing 16,000 clay there. So I think clay pit is going to be one of our early 
resource things we want to grab. So we have the work camp. We have the stables. Ah, oh, horses can be raised for training of horsemen and lancers. Horses must be purchased from a visiting trader at the trading post. Nice. So excited to get into that. Oh, man. Right. What does it take to build this stuff then? So that's everything we have. I don't think we want to get too excited and into it too early, though. Let's focus on our people first. Now, iron could be a really good thing early on. But I do think we're going to have to just focus getting a tiny surplus of clay so we can get the bricks. Because they're going to be very important. Now, I don't like... I want to try and keep this away. I want to build a narrower kind of farm over there. So let's get the clay pit. Then let's get another road going through. So let's bring probably just from this one. I'm going to do a bit of a skew if one actually. Why not? Oh, a first bit of dysentery here, which isn't good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if we've got place for this. So, where's our closest one to these guys? I'm actually going to go ahead and get another well right there to cover the extra bits of these houses here as well. And we need the clay for the school anyway, so that's kind of a good thing. Crops are ready for assignment. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get anything in this year, so... For the first bit, fertility is pretty good. So we're going to want to just bring the weed level down. So we're going to go with a triple year of weed levels. And we're going to go ahead and get... Fertility's good, weed levels. Rockiness is pretty good. We could actually go straight into some crops here. I want to see what that one does. Frost resistance, heat tolerance is good. Everything is good on that one. Don't have any sand to change these up. I think we want to go for something that lasts a long time. So we want the beans or something. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and remove that one. I'm going to go for a bit of fertility. We're going to we're going to spend a couple of years doing this. I think we're fine to do that. Let's go like that. I don't think we can fit anything else in there. So that our first crop field is going to be like that. So it's going to take a couple of years to get there. That should be fine. And with all this coming in, we are going to need to factor in another food storage as well. And what I'm going to do is actually bring, I think, the granary and stuff over here that we can start storing as well. But we'll get a food store just here, I think. And indicate this. So let's go... I think here, and then this one, once built, will make sure it is just prioritizing veg, I think. Got these hunters having three working in one zone all together is actually crazy because anything attacks like wolves and stuff, they absolutely annihilate them. They're so good. Oh, we got a bear coming in. There's my three hunters. Right. You, Smokehouse, are you hunter? You're hunter. We need to try and deal with this ASAP. So, I'm going to try and tank this one with the oh, hunters are managing it on their own really easily holy crap well done go on kill it you can you can chill just go do your thing these two can kill it look at that they almost killed it we are going to try and chase that down with those hunters actually because the bears need to die they're very annoying there it is yes loads of meat from that as well the bear gives a stupid amount let me just show you if i go in here we've got the different carcasses here a boar gives 200, um, a wolf gives 32, a deer, what do you get for the bear carcass actually? Carcass of a hunted animal, I don't know what it gives you, in all fairness, when I look. There is no option for bear, but as you can see, for pure food, boars are incredible, so we're doing really well on that anyway. We've got 44 here, loads of tallow, so soap needs to be our next industry, I think, but... Let me just show you, auto fill on, we're not in a good position. Now, if you know the optimal for these, let me know, because I can assign less workers. I don't think it's necessary to have all of them, so I'm going to go down to 10, maybe. Just see what happens. And what that does mean, that should reassign the amount inside of here with auto on, which is good. That gives us enough laborers to actually keep up with this, and then consider getting in the soap shop? I think so. Let's get a soap shop in. Now, this one is a very dirty industry, actually, the soap. So, let's keep this away from things. Let's pop it over here. And into year six we go. Oh, yes. So, all our gold is going into here. We're struggling for planks, but we're doing all right with everything else. I just need to make sure that we do keep on top of the trees once more. I might grab the ones that are closer. It's a little bit easier. Now, with the soap shop on, we're going to need to keep the wood splitter going constantly for that reason. Um, and that's purely because the soap does require firewood to run as well. So we'll keep that going. That should be fine. 
Worst cases, we'll add another worker in there as well, but we're fine. Um, school needs 11 more gold. Obviously, that's not going to build until the clay comes in anyway. And hello to our new villagers here. Not sure we've had anyone grow up yet from the adolescence. That actually requires planks too. I'm going to set that as the priority for the planks. And I think I'm going to get a fourth plank person in. And then these guys will carry on chopping the wood as and when. When we've got more labourers, we'll smash through that. Traders, hopefully, will do good here. Let's just pause it up and see if there's anything we can get in. So we could potentially sell off some baskets now there's a surplus. With the amount of hides we're getting, it might... I want to keep the shoes. I'm thinking maybe seven of these. Uh, let's say nine, that'll do. And then we'll get in some of the baskets as well. Try and snith slither out a tiny bit of gold as we can. Um, we've got 11 more there so let's actually transfer 25 and we'll need a vault at some point but that should go into here we should expect the attack very soon vanquisher was every two or three years so i can't remember what it is on normal i think the first attack comes at year eight or something right nothing for me there then i'm hoping one might have some kind of tools because we're not in a position to create those ourselves yet from the uh blacksmith we do need to consider the weaver building at some point one at a time, though. Soap shop first. Apiary is a good one, actually, as well, because we could sell the honey. Yeah, let's get the apiaries in. So, honey bonus. I like to put these around by the farmers, because it's the farmers that do the work, right? They can get bee stings as well, so... I think we'll just get... On the edge of each circle here. Get three. Just around the farm. And our first lots of weed levels going down now as well. So we're taking that down to 62%. That should be pretty good. I think we may even be able to. Hold on. Frost and heat are good on this. So I want to go like this. Yeah, we can fit in one more there. Obviously, at the moment, we're just relying on that farm coming in as well. And labor-wise, we don't have the people really to go out and put more in. I could get another gathering hut, maybe. Another forager shack down here wouldn't be a bad shout. Let's have a look up here, though. Let's see what else we have going around here. There's a little bit of veg there. A bit rubbish, actually, our map for this stuff, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> he says, 12 people. Oh, God, we don't even have the housing. Holy crap. Okay, no problem. Working on it. Uh, let's go. Hold on. Marketplace can reach down to here. Two more houses there's good i think we'll just go straight three there that should be fine well now we have no problems plenty of people to chop stuff down let's go to eight builders now to get stuff done then and let's actually utilize hopefully they'll get through some of this then and we'll set a bit more to be harvested and just grab in a little bit let's see if there's any stones knocking about that might be overkill on the trees i won't lie to you a couple of stones down here so we'll grab those as well and the uh, soap soap shop is in so we'll have two just making that we'll see how we get on with just the two i may need to pop two in here now as well then are we looking on everything else this stuff's good everything else is looking good so we can probably start to get this focused on and get some clay coming in then let's prioritize that let's set four builders to it and get those planks over there and maybe just whilst we've got spare let's get a fifth person in there just going to check the radius of this now as well. I think we can squeeze two or three houses across the top here early on. Now, I'm not even sure we can build up here because it is pretty naff for this. We go there. That does cover it, doesn't it? Yeah, and then we need to flatten out a little bit of this land. So if I come from this piece maybe here, we do a couple of strips through there. That should be more than enough. Got a blizzard on the way, though. We'll get that going. Hopefully, we're good over here. How's this looking? The weed levels weren't very good. Why is that still really, really high? Anyway, plenty of housing to cover us now as well. We're looking good. So, coming into the winter in a moment for year six. Everything. Eh, we could, we could improve, I think. Not seeing a soap surplus yet. Liking the look of both of these, though. And we need some more baskets. If I look in here, this is something we can sell. We've got 336 of those, so let's up that one. And we've got loads of this, so let's also up the shoes here. Let's get let's get a bit of those going. That might be the thing we can sell, and then we can start to get a bit of a surplus ready for uh, some of the later, the more advanced tier 2 stuff as well. 
Now I'm going to bring a dirt road from here. Actually, I'm going to do it away from that across here into this road. So we've got the slightly quicker to get to the camp here as well. And I probably should, once that's removed, maybe bring in a little bit around here. Now this forager shack could probably do with moving also. So let's relocate that. Let's just pop it there for now. That works absolutely fine for me. And the clay pit is done. So what we'll do... Let's have a look. We don't have the labourers. It's because of builders here. What we could always do is knock that down to six. That'll give us those labourers. I'll leave just two gathering the clay for now. Just to get enough for the school. And I need to remember the wagon shop uses planks also. So we've got uh, one person just waiting to make them. But at the moment we'll leave it as is. I don't know if I need to do the advanced and leave this kind of doing its thing. But building needs more workers. No, you're fine. So I just moved it. Can I get this a little bit better? All right, into year number seven. What I'm going to do is actually get a bit more road going here. So I'm just going to bring that up to this one. I realized that I didn't do very well along that. That does mean we'll need to mine out that stone piece there, but that's fine. I've moved it over a little bit. I may work towards getting our second fishing shack down in this little bit here because that, that boost from that is going to be huge. Other than that, we're looking fine. Let's get a little bit of gold into here ready. Ready for the uh, the trade here, so 300 or so. And then we'll transfer in some more of our baskets. We'll slowly increase some of this. We can make a good sale here. Yeah, shoes with the second person in is going to be a good one. Typically can sell pretty good. And the clay has started as well. So we've got some pieces going into the school now. So they're bringing those over. How's this looking? Their weed levels are terrible. Not quite sure why. I don't know whether the blizzard caused problems there. What I might do is just start food anyway. Um, we'll see how we get on. I might. I want to get a barn quite early. So I'm thinking like chickens or something. No? I feel like one of these. That does impact fertility. We'll always be in a plus though because of these. So you get a plus one there, a plus one there, and then a minus two there. So that'll keep us the same. If we were to do that plus a clover... That would be good. And then we get in a good year over here with maybe flax or something. We'll see, we'll see. You almost need, you can't do a lot until you've got two or three. The good stuff anyway. Right, let's have a look here then. So I'm just going to pause. Yeah, look at this. So we could have got ourselves some goats right here. I guess you need chicken as well. Um, you'll have to find them from here. I don't know. I kind of don't want to sell the baskets for cheap, so we'll, we'll hold fire. We're not in a desperate need for that gold just yet either. Let's check in on the uh, predator attacking. I think we're fine. Oh no! Oh no, it's predator. I thought that, was, that looked like a person. What the hell was that? It must have been another wolf. I thought we, we had our first death then. Oh, here we go. First raid. Right. Fire 12. Interesting. So... Twelve. Wow. We've got one tower. I wonder if I can get a second one in there in time. And what I'm going to do is grab hunters. So I'll do the usual. I'm going to bring all three hunters over to our main main bit here. And we'll play this. I've got hopefully a second one being able to grab a weapon in time for this as well. We shall see. I'll see where he is. He's trying, bless him. The raid begins. Hopefully they attack this way. Now I want my hunters. Yep, soldier. Go on, grab stuff. You can do it in time. I think he's going to get it in time, which is good. Might not have the arrows though. Okay, our three hunters are here. I've got them. I've got them. So what? Oh no, they're going for my market. They're going for my market. Forgot about that, you cheeky beggars. What's in there anyway? Oh, not too much. Not too much. We're fine. Here they are. See if we can get a few shots off on these. There we go. There's one. That's our meat back. Nice. And there we go. The uh, the fight begins. Let's see if we can get the hunters going in. We should be fine. Oh, yes. I think I want to get into the maybe some kind of early soldiers here then. The garrison's good though, I think. Come on. Kill them. Kill them. I need to kind of get these guys killed because they could be carrying something. Come on, hit that shot. Boom. Not carrying it. Oh, we got more? Oh, wow, there's two horsemen. I didn't even see them. What have you guys got on you? See? Hopefully they're running anyway. Woo. Okay, first one survived. 
One tower was good, I think. Um, I may turn this one off. I almost feel like I want to keep them as soldiers there. I could turn them off for a couple of years, right? Save the gold. I don't know. I don't need to be perfectly optimum, but very good, very good start. We didn't lose anyone, and we, yeah, we're, we're, we're good, we're good. Their baskets are naff as well. I did see this heavy tool. It's probably important that we grab one of those in early, but yeah, rubbish. <laughs> don't think I need to trade in anything at the moment then. Hey, that was cool though, seeing those horsemen. Super, super cool. All right, weed levels are going down now, perfect. We are looking much better. There we go, first attack came in. So I'm gonna look into some of our defensive buildings here. We could get a barracks. Now, it's just the gold. We could afford it though, and get a couple of soldiers, but I don't know. I'm more concerned about what just happened here. So I think I might have to do district walls and things like that to maybe force them over this way. So if I wall this off, they'll force them straight to the town hall. Yeah, we don't need any of that stuff yet. We're going to have to deal with just the towers for now. I would like to be able to make some good stuff, though. Let me see. I'm trying to come up with anything that's going to make us some money here. And I think candle shops now, we've got the B, is also going to be good. I think we wait a moment. A little bit longer. We were fine with that one tower anyway. That height was good. So... We killed nine. They managed to get away with nothing because we killed them beforehand. So very, very successful attack there. That was great. Now, I'm fairly certain we're going to hit a wave of housing upgrades once this school comes in. So we do need to be careful because all of these are going to pop up. And we can obviously get desirability up through decorations now as well that we've got the, uh, the newer tier. So a small park, for example. If you were to squeeze one of these in, can't do it with that one. We need the garden stuff. Yeah, this this stuff here. Like a medium garden. If you put a medium garden there, it's good desirability for all of these. That's why I left that gap. Um, 30 gold. We could get them all upgraded so we don't need to worry about housing, though. Oh, hello. The town has experienced a drought. Drought can stunt the growth of crops, resulting in a decline in the size and quality of produce. The drought was new since I've last played, right? Rockiness has gone, by the way. Weed level's still going down. Oh, hold on. Am I doing the wrong thing here? I've just realised it's bloody clover that you need in there. Right. Plant that. What did I just do? Get that going. There we go. It's clover for the weeds, isn't it? Oh, no, that's fertility. It is that. That's rockiness and weeds. I'm confused, man. What's your weed thingy there? Yeah, I, I messed that one up. Should be that. That's fine. We can still do that. Okay, we're looking pretty healthy on planks now, so I'm just going to slowly reduce those down. I'm just doing a little bit of a, a, a switch around here. Let's see if we can get soap going a little bit more. Uh, how many of those have we got? So we're good on herbs at the moment. It's just the firewood. That No, that looks fine. I think we leave that at two and we get a third person in the tannery here to try and maybe get another three per year of those. Oh, that was awesome, man. And yeah, school has been completed. There we go, guys. I see it. Beautiful. So if we check desirability of these housing now, I think one or two of them were pretty high. Yeah, they're pretty close to the 30. If we get a garden of some kind in here and then a second source of food, I think I might get my first medium garden in here. Now, a little tip for you. If you just click on and then click off again, you can get certain types of gardens that you want. I prefer the look of this one. I really do. I'm going to pop that there. Pretty cheap to make as well, so that should get some housing up and we won't need to worry about getting the lower version. Obviously, I can fit some smaller ones still around here, but I want to upgrade a couple in the middle because it'll look cool. Then I kind of want to see how I'm going to wall these off. So if I start a wooden wall with gate from maybe here, these outer housing don't matter too much. I so, eh. so I've just lined it up. We are going to wall in to this bit right here. So we'll pop a gate there so we know. And I'm going to bring it around the housing and this marketplace. So I think I'll come through here. I think that'll look pretty good. Um, and we'll get a gate on each peak. So if I do this, I think it'll look pretty cool if we do that and we come around this area as the first housing estate and then we go up around that. Just to kind of force them over to this area. I don't want them to keep attacking this bit here. And that should be fine. And we'll kind of district them off early on, I think, until we do our main big walls with, uh, with our barracks and things like that. Oh, the garden's in place. As soon as we've got two types of food, I think it. Although, for some reason, still not 30%, even though it said it would. I think it's 35. No, they're 28. I guess we have these other things that we could get in, but we could focus on the other better stuff. Healer house is good, but the monthly cost is too high. Same with the theater. We could get the shrine. I think we'll wait. 
What have we got here? White Wolf once again. Everyone's gone in to muller it. Beautiful. All right, guys, that is going to be where we end this one out as we're coming into the winter of year seven here. Thank you so much for joining me. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thumbs up helps massively, so please do that. And if you enjoy, let me know. See you soon, guys. Take it easy.